Hey guys, I figured I'd give you a quick update on uh, the Ford Aiden. Um, it's been raining real bad the last like two weeks straight, so I hadn't really been able to do much on it. Um, let's see. Uh, last time, last the last video I showed you, um, I really hadn't had that much time to look at it and really go into it and check it out. Um, but I did notice a couple problems. Um, some not that bad, some worse than others. Um, for starters, the alternator up on it before was was really bad. Um, wasn't getting any kind of charge or anything. So uh, I uh, hunted this one down uh, from the numbers on the old one. And it actually goes to a 1972 Buick uh, GS Grand Sport with the big block 455. Um, so found that, put that in there, charging system is working great now. Um, put acid in the battery so it'd, you know, keep the charge. Um, the fuel bowl, um, it was really bad. It had a bunch of gunky stuff in there and you can kind of, I don't know if you can see the color of it, but it's not, not too pretty so that needs to be changed anyways. But, um, like I said, I had just finished this and cleaned it out and there's sand and dirt and grime and stuff in there. Um, but I did paint paint this here because it was rusted. Um, on it before, there's a lot of nasty stuff on the bottom of it. So I had a, I had a cleaned that out as best I could. And now you use hydrochloric acid to finish cleaning it out. So that did good. Um, like I said, I did the oil change. It wasn't too bad. Um, I mean, you can still see through the uh, through the oil, but um, all you Ford N guys will know the 9N, 2N, and 8N. You see the track? Notice that. Notice that uh, there's something missing here, and um, there's not an oil filter. There's a oil line that's supposed to come out from here into this oil canister, it gets filtered through here, sent back around to the um, to the governor on the other side of the engine. And obviously there's not one here, so that's why I went ahead and changed the oil. Um, as you can see, it's uh, pretty clean. So, uh, yeah, whenever you're changing these, they, uh, I don't know if you can see that big old bolt right there. Or, uh, that's the drain plug and whenever you let that thing loose it almost immediately um, drain <laughs> but uh, anyways I figured I'll get one of those little um, aluminum retrofit ones that you can put on the screw on oil filter I figured those uh, probably get a little bit better filtering than you can with the canister um, I figured I could get one of those for close to about the same price as I could one of those canisters. I don't, I don't know. Maybe so, maybe no. Anyways, uh, went ahead and filled up uh, the uh, radiator, made sure the consistency was good as far as water to radiator fluid. I cleaned out the radiator grill. Um, see on over here. We, uh, this one has the cyclone air filter, which the uh, the air comes in here, swirls around, and all the uh, you pointing it out to me, Brock. And then all the the heavier dirt and stuff falls down in here, and then you can uh, just take that uh, glass bowl off, empty it, good to go, and then most of the uh, most of the filtration is going to come through here, anyways. But you got your uh, air filter through here, and as you can see, it says oil level, and it gets filtered out through uh, actual oil. Whenever that gets bad, you uh, you dump that out, good to go. Uh, what else? The uh, exhaust uh, clamp here. We got an oil, uh, uh, exhaust leak here, but I guess that's pretty common for these. Um, as you can see. Um, here is the, uh, what I was talking about, the oil comes out here, goes to the front where your oil canister is, gets filtered through that, comes back around here, and I think it's supposed to go right into there. Um, there's some kind of little check ball thing. I guess it works, I don't know. Um, 
it works fine. Um, here is where the uh, the tachometer, the proof cable is, it goes up through here, up to where there is nothing in there now. <laughs> um, I had a I had a the original one in there, but I got a new cable and put in there, and it still didn't work. So I get a new one of those. The oil filter, or I mean the uh, oil pressure gauge, didn't work. The oil pressure gauge didn't work, so I put a uh, a big strong magnet on that needle, and it broke it loose. And it was showing that I was getting about 25 psi, something like that. And I thought that was pretty low, so I figured it was the uh, the oil pressure gauge. So I got a new one. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't. Is was, I still was getting about 20, 25 psi. So, uh, oh well. And then, uh, let's see, after that, today I uh, cleaned out the spark plugs. There's a lot of gunk on it. Um, so I cleaned that out with a propane torch and a wire brush. And uh, so those look almost new now. I, I was surprised it was running, to tell you the truth. I mean, it was, it was bad. So uh, anyways, I cleaned that out. And hey, Brock, you want to start it up? Yeah. OK, climb on over here. Start it up for me. But uh, while he's doing that, I'll tell you when to push the button, okay? Okay. Um, got the new uh, uh, slip clutch PTO, whatever. And uh, the guy that had it before me, he just had a whole bolt that went straight through it. But this one has a roll pin in the center of it, so it allows the grease to go through. Uh, and then I got a stronger or bigger... Uh, shear bolts there and then let's see all right Brock you ready to start this up for, yeah. for daddy and we gotta turn this on and then you gotta push that button down okay, push it. yeah push it now no push and hold it now your hand? yeah you can push and hold it down with your hand okay let go and then, uh, the weird thing is, after I cleaned up the spark plugs, I'm getting better. I'm getting a better oil pressure. I'm getting better oil pressure than I was. So that was weird to me. <laughs> but anyways, so yeah, that's uh, that's where we're at now. So. Uh, I guess whenever I get that, that proof meter, I'll, uh, I might show a video of doing that. But I've been busy and trying to work between the, uh, the rainfall and everything. So, that's all I got so far. Hey Brock, wanna say bye?